What you got there? I have an interview with Chick-fil-A yeah. on Thursday. What? I have an interview with Chick-fil-A on Thursday. Dude. Yay! It's virtual Zoom though, so I had to figure that out. I've never used Zoom before. What do you like about cucumber sandwiches? It's just bread and cucumber. And does it remind you of our old home? Guys, he was watching videos last night with me and he said, Mom, that's our old home. I said, it is. He said, can we go back there? Really? Him did. Yeah. Can we go? Huh. Daddy, we want to visit England. All your friends are moving. He has some British friends. Yeah, but I mean like Emerson. Yeah, his other friends are, but. The British kids too. Oh, maybe they were, but Jansen might've been. Yeah, I think he was moving before COVID even happened. Yeah. True. It's still our old home, Dad. Ugh. Yeah. what they call me. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. The girls have a dentist appointment this morning. My hair is still wet because Michelle needs a new hair dryer. My hair dryer has been broken for like two weeks now. Yeah, something like that. And I just need, I cut, okay, so at first I thought it was the outlet and my outlet was bad in my bathroom because I was able to go to the girls and it was kind of working. I think it's just totally out now. So anyways, it's all the things to do this week is to get Michelle a hair dryer. I dropped this little clip that dad started his own YouTube channel. Kind of exciting. I know he wants to game, talk about cars with you guys on his channel. I kind of liked it. He done his first vlog the other day. I had to edit it because he doesn't quite know what he's doing with that part yet. And it's kind of nice to see, I mean, guys, life really is about perspective. So it's what you're looking at through your eyes, someone else's eyes. So it's kind of nice to see life through his eyes as I was editing the video. Then the girls back there has been trying to like really build their YouTube channel and I've been helping them edit some of theirs. So it's been kind of a lot. Michelle's been a little chill on her editing. The girls have came back to the car with their nice price sheets. It is crazy expensive because I guess Michaela's is impacted. So hers are not out at all. And then Caroline has two that are out, but two that are still impacted. So I have two that are already out, but I have one that will never break the skin. Cause she's like, it's leaning on a tooth that has no room for bone. So she's like, it's just pushing, well not pushing, but she's like, it, there's not enough room for a bone to grow for it to pop out. So I do, ha so I'll have three that will break the skin, but then I'll have one that won't at all, ever. Yeah. And you want to go to sleep. I do want to, I want to go to sleep. Being awake scares me. Like, I don't know. I feel like my nerves would be too much built into it. The fact that they want to go to sleep is just really expensive, especially with two of them. And then I wouldn't want y'all to do it. Christian's in the back. Sorry guys, he's, we had to bring school on the go. But I would not want you girls to do it on the same day. Like at some point I'm like, yeah, hey, go do it the same day, but then Dad's not really here to help me, so two of you are gonna be, which I guess I did your other surgery that way. Yeah, but it wasn't like that difficult. Right. No, but y'all did go to sleep and I took care of both of you. The UK guys, they had to go to sleep. Both of them went to sleep at the hospital to test for their celiac disease. And that wasn't bad. They both woke up super easy, not in pain, of course, because honestly they went to sleep for like this little bob, see? So it wasn't that bad, but now it'll be like a week, like you said, of eating liquid diets. She says I don't have to. She said after three days. Well, three days of liquid diets. But then I don't think I would want to repeat that. So I kind of like for you to both do it at one time and hopefully there's just no- well, we can schedule one for one day and then the yeah. next day then do her. Well, I couldn't because if she's medicated at home, I wouldn't want to leave her medicated. Well, we need to do it together. Yeah, so that'd be the best option. to take the other one. I don't know, guys. These are our decisions about getting wisdom teeth taken out. I'm sure in a vlog to come, you're going to see that eventful day or week in our house. Oh, well, we have stopped at Checkers to get lunch. So I'm just going to get fries or like loaded fries. We've never had Checkers. So, but some of the stuff I can't eat. And all right. And the doctor told me I had, or the dentist told me I had low blood pressure. I've never had low blood pressure. So I'd probably just start eating better than I do. I'll break my diet. Mama's leaning right here. It's loaded up with some bacon. I really want this, but I can't have that. So I, I know, that looks good too. I know, and I've been wanting a spicy crispy chicken sandwich for so long, but I guess her, her goes with this. Okay, Christian's asking for an icy. Oh, what we get this cute. Yes, That's the sharp. mixer. Yeah. I think I'm gonna get this after we eat. Foot thing, see, press it. Christian decided chicken nuggets and fries. And his blue icy. More like popcorn chicken. Yeah. 
How's your fries look, girls? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's got chili on them? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, it's as if that's going pray. <laughs> I know. I'm like, are we still breaking our diet? I know. You should have just got food if you are going to do that. I don't have chili on it. So here's my burger. <laughs> we'll see. But these fries, this is what they're known for is these fries. Let's rate checkers. I'll never eat it again. Really? I was not impressed. Like, my fries were super greasy. Maybe it's because I just came from the UK. When we bought from the store, though, they're not like that. No. Those were super greasy fries. My chicken sandwich was way spicy, which that's fine, guys. I know people actually, when it says spicy chicken, want spicy chicken. It just reminded me of McDonald's ripoff spicy chicken that's like a dollar on their dollar menu. I guess I was expecting a little more. I don't think those necessarily look like dri is there They're joggers. They're considered joggers, but I feel like I could get away with them, maybe. Like they said dress pants and a belt. Like I definitely don't see that being a dress pant and a belt. That don't even have a belt hook part. Uh, I'd say that's not what they're looking for. But I would feel like I would wear these more often and get more use out of them than like just dress pants. Well, if you decide Chick-fil-A, Chick-fil-A might not want a dress pant. They might just want a black well, pants. Sure, that's what I it's know. It's flat too. <laughs> Christian's helping her shop, guys. I guess we'll just keep looking and see. She's looking for clothes for her new job. So you want black dress pants, and then I need the shoes. Which the shoes are fine because I can wear those every time to work, and those will be my work shoes. But the pants, if I get black dress pants, then this one time and decide to do Chick Fil A, then like kind of wasted money. So I'm like, I'm just trying to look for like multiple uses. So there's these, but it's a two. I'm, I'm a UK, I'm a US two in certain stuff. Well, the only thing is you can't try on here. I know, that waist looks actually kind of big. Like, these are even folded again, so I might just have to keep looking. Those look like they'd be baggy. You that might be okay. It's the extra small. Yeah. Oh, I like those better. Let's just do these. I like those better. Yeah. That she's ugly? Yes. I would never buy these. They look beautiful, them, so. though. Aw, Christian said they're beautiful. Awesome. Yeah, so why don't you buy the ones that look more like the vans? I like either. So they're comfy? Yeah, they have like memory phone in them. Like I could stand all day with these. See? I don't understand how these are non slip shoes. So these fall pretty how, is that gonna, how are those going to look like with dress pants? Like hold your pants up to them. <laughs> Ugh. How's that, how's that looking? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe we could try the van and see if those will maybe look better. Like the van, like kind of style ones, but yeah. these are nice because they have like the memory foam in them. Not like these, these are like old lady shoes. And they, if they're going to rub a blister then. Like, yeah, like, I feel like they would. But see, they might look better with these. Look better, but McKaylee, you can't wear something that's going to cause a blister to work. I mean, and when I first put them on, maybe I put them on wrong. But the, I don't even like the bottom of them. Yeah, so I would. Like those have memory foam, those are nicer. Yeah, because you didn't even like the Skechers, and as soon as you put them on, you do like them. Yeah, and these are, those are more, even more cheaper than these, and I and those have memory phone in them. I think I'd get the other set. Yeah. I need to find the hearts. Yes, let's go see if we can find the heart. No, let's go see if we can find the heart um, waffle maker. maker. Oh, yeah, sure. Let's go well, look. We're at a different store now, so. Yeah, let's go look. It's going to be down the Valentine's Day stuff. It's going to be down the Valentine's Day stuff. That's pretty cute. You got You buying me a card? Ooh, a lion's tongue? Yeah. Is that chocolate? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's cute! I love avocado. <gasps> oh, an avocado! Let's avocado. Oh, I love that for the fishing because he likes to fish. That's yes. Cute. Yes. I do this like is that. hooked on you. That's cute. Candy. Wait, does he eat candy? I mean, yeah. He, he's a big sweet tooth. Oh, okay. He would if I got it for him, he would. Cause Cause I know how, I'll probably help him with it. I know how healthy he likes to eat. That's really cute. I might have to get this on here. Christian, this is what dad needs. Huh? And I feel like I was like that would give me a headache with some shape. Yeah. Like those massive gummy bears over there, that's massive. Ew, gross. No, no. So it's like you can make them for brownies. You. Yeah. Corn, cracker, dog, car, rainbow, a shark. You do. So guys, Lola, you build Lola. this and it's a mailbox to get your Valentines in. Also a monster. I know, I like that little monster. Which, you get it. What do you like? Yeah. The shark? Mm -hmm. I kind of like the crocodile and the shark. I like the crocodile too. Let's I show them. Can I get both as well? The crocodile is super cute too. I feel like let's just get both. You need just one. Okay, look. I like the shark. Shark the best? Yeah. Okay, you hold your shark. But I need to hold it. <laughs> Locked and loaded. Check your mirrors. 
Baby, baby, whoa, whoa, my car's electric. I, I can see that truck now, or that 7-Eleven sign, so we're good on that. Don't cry. <laughs> a little bit. That was a little bit nerve-wracking. I said I was nervous. I told you that area was so crowded, and I'm so super nervous. You're okay. Take a breath. Just take a my breath. My heart is, like, beating out of my chest. You gotta stop, because you gotta remember where your brake and your yeah. gas is. Yeah. Right now, currently, we're just braking. We're at a stoplight right yeah. now. So, currently just waiting to go. We're in our neighborhood, guys. Woo! Today was a bit rough. Not gonna lie, guys, that that could have been a little scary. She did well. She did very well, but she pulled out. It's a six-lane highway. Things I've never done yet before. Things so. she hasn't done. She had to cross over three lines of traffic. Get over, actually switch lanes. And then she looks at me. Go ahead and slow down, Michaela. She looks at me and says, Mom, can I get over? No, you need to know. For I'm going to look too, guys. Don't worry. But just stop. Just stop. She needs to know if... Why, why are you past the driveway? You can turn in there. Really? <laughs> okay. I'm just like... I'm She's really nervous. I'm going to hand her the vlog now, and I'm going to park my car. All right, guys. So, I drove home. I had to switch lanes traffic and stuff. I had to, like, switch lanes, and that was a little bit scary, and, like, a little bit, like, shaky, because I was so scared. Like, I had to pull out six lanes of traffic. Like, I was nerve-wracking because I, have like, never got the brake and the gas mixed up, but so it's, like, we were at this gas station, and, like, I had to pull out, but, you know, like, there's a stoplight literally right at like that interest or like getting out of the gas station so I like had to pull out there and then there was a car behind me so I was trying to like focus on that but then trying not to hit the people at the stoplight trying to pull out but then I, I do not like people behind me especially when I'm new at driving because I'm patient when it comes to driving because I want to be safe but I feel like the people behind me are more like experienced drivers. For me, I like to take my time because I'm scared and I want to be safe. So I try to take my time to when I know I can go. And I'm I'm still getting new with the car. Like I've never got my turn signals and stuff mixed up till today. Like the people the, probably down the road are probably like, what is this lady doing? But that was a little bit scary. I mean, it's okay now. I mean, I'm home. And my heart was so beating so fast. So nervous driving. That was scary. But I did it. We're home safe. Um, I just need a little bit more work with that because I know with like my job and stuff and I am going to get a car and work on my license that I, I need to learn to do that. I do need to practice driving because today I had to get over in three lanes of traffic like all the way to the end for to turn into our neighborhood and I was lying on my mom to tell me when I could get over. <laughs> I was like I'm way I'm good because it's like I guess because I've never got over before so I'm not exactly sure where I need to look. I'm not exactly sure what, what mirror or whatever I need to look at to know if I'm safe. I'm just relying on mom's beep beep in her car and hurt. Yeah guys, because I have um, a smart car so it kind of tells you if you can or cannot get over, but you can't rely on that. I know, but... You have to make sure that the, there's not another car behind you. But I could you. also see in my mirror how far that car was behind me, so then I also could be like, okay, because I could see that car in my mirror. You still need to double check. You have to double check to make sure. And if your first response is, I'm a Kelly, get over and, oh, but mom, can I? And the thing was, the car tried to get over at the same time oh, I was trying to get over. It was kind of dangerous. Y'all both got over at the same time. Now, that can happen to us experienced drivers. She had her turn signal on. She done everything she should have, and that car did get over with her, but it, we were clear. But I'm not going to lie, my heart was pounding. I need one of those learner cars, like, that has the, the gas and the brake on my side, uh -huh. too, and a steering wheel. <laughs> Yeah. Safe. It's okay. Don't make this like you don't want to drive anymore. You got it. I know. It's just maybe do it on the time when it's not insanely busy. This was actually not busy for our area. It seemed like it was insanely busy today. Like I feel like going out at like I don't know. Ten o'clock at night yeah. would be better. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I know. Okay. And to practice switching lanes. Maybe so. Maybe we'll have to do that. I know. But, but you come out before on a six lane highway and you did okay, but you did not have to change lanes. Yeah, and I didn't have to change lanes. And when I did have to change lanes, it was on this side, so it was only one lane I was having, but it was like a turning lane. Yeah. So I was already knew I was turning to where I was literally trying to go over three straight, like three lanes of straight traffic and no one, and like I wasn't turning or anything. I was just literally trying to get over. You did okay, it's so. okay. We're okay. As far as driving here in America, I know it's a little bit harder and I've said it in some of my other videos, because they are 19, they could have went ahead and straight got their driver's license. Me and dad did disagree or 
I 100% disagreed with that and I wanted them to have their permit. I personally want them to have their permit six months to a year like you're supposed to in America because if you were 15 holding your permit, you'd have to have it for the solid year. You'd be on all the restrictions and I understand at 15, you probably need those restriction, uh, restrictions a little more than a 19 year old, but at the end of the day, it's still you're in a car. I think you need to learn everything that you're supposed to about the vehicle, about the road, about driving. Like today, another driver coming in on us. I think you just need experience with an adult in the car for the solid year. But they are allowed if dad had mentioned maybe if they can get it together in three months. That maybe they could just go and set for their driver's test. I personally, because in America you're supposed to have driver's ed. And they missed out on that part. And it's a free class that's offered as one of your um, electives in high school. And they totally missed out on that because of us living in the UK. So I have expressed and I have looked classes up and we've done some research, um, the girls and I, about maybe taking a driver's class. Because it's one thing mom and dad in the car with you and then it's so comfortable. Like with us in the car? Yeah. I don't want to ride with some stranger. I didn't. When I took driver's ed, and dad said he didn't even have to take driver's ed, which he was from South Carolina. I find that super hard to believe. But in North Carolina, where I grew up, it's definitely a law that you have to take driver's ed before going to set for your driver's license. And okay. But anyways, I honestly think you would do better with a stranger because in the driver's ed class, at least they have the thing on top that, you know, other drivers are aware that you're a driving student to kind of stay away from you. If you're like going kind of slow, they kind of know to kind of keep their distance. Also, the driver teacher has not more patience because I try to be really calm, but that's what they do. That's what they get paid to do. And it's just a lot of other benefits that taking a driving school would help you with. I have looked into it, guys. It's about 300 bucks. That may be our next step. I'm definitely going to still let her practice in my car. But I do think, I've always encouraged and said, I think you needed the driver's ed part. I'm working on the highway, I like would freak out. But see, in order to pass driver's ed, you have to. I remember in driver's ed, I had to merge on the freeway. I had to do the parallel parking. I had to pass all that to pass the class. But we'll keep practicing. Guys, you may see driver's ed videos coming up <laughs> because I personally think that's what they need to do. Thank you for watching our video and coming along on my driving experience. I'm um, sorry we couldn't show you too much more. We we're trying to be safe and then I was already freaked out and nervous. So just stay tuned. I'm sure there'll be more. But I hope you guys like this video and you see you in the next video. Bye!